Hi everyone, in this video I'll talk a bit more about how 3D printing is like improving my productivity in making carbon fiber parts. So I'll take you through some examples on how I can do rapid iterations using 3D printing to use uh, for making carbon fiber parts parts in the end. So I'll take you through some examples. So you'll see some filament winding, some finishing of the carbon fiber tubes. This will be online in a next tutorial. So I'm pretty excited about this tutorial. Uh, if it's online already, it should pop up on the top right at this moment. So to get started with this video, so I'll be talking a bit more about the QD or the GD 3D printer. I um, I was sent for review, a full review will, will follow, but this is a printer that can print in PA12 carbon fiber. So this printer can produce quite strong parts. That's perfect for me for like doing quick rapid prototyping, making some uh, fittings on parts that I need to make. So what I'm doing here is I'm just making a template to know where I have to drill the holes. And later on, these will be uh, fitted with some mounts for the X winder, so for the filament winder. So here I show you how it fits. So this is a print, it's a quick print. It's on 0.3 layer height. It printed in about one hour and a half. And this is already producing quite strong parts, but to be mounted on the X winder, I wanted to make them a bit stronger. And the biggest problem is the mounting on the X winder, as it has like the chucks of a trail press, um, making it difficult. Like if you have um, various sizes and mandrels that you want to use, this is for me a good tool to make these uh, mountings. So what I'm doing here, I'm applying some release agent on the bolts because I want to have threaded inserts. You'll see later on, so these will fit on the inside of the aluminum mandrel and then can be tightened with the screws. So that's like the setup. Now we're using some fast casting polyurethane. So the P2 um, line is from Easy Composites. It's a fast curing resin and it's pretty strong. So it's a polyurethane and it can handle some um, damage or some use. So I'm just mixing it one by one on mixing ratio, then filling it. And it's like a, like a magical thing that's happening. So after a while, the clear resin will turn white. And so you know that it's fully cured. You can also add some pigments if you want, but for me, the white is good. So why do I fill them? Um, you could also 3D print them, uh, yes, I know but I want to save some time and like having a full infill on these with threaded inserts would be quite hard on the 3D printer. So this is like a cool thing, having the knowledge of composite materials and resins, combining it with 3D printing. So here we can see we have the threaded inserts, so we can now fasten the mounts on the mandrel. So it's an aluminum mandrel that I uh, polished and sand it. And now it's time to add some release agents to make sure that we can remove the mandrel later on from the uh, filament winded tubes. So here we can see the mounts. So it's like from a drill press and having an M10 um, bolt on the inside makes it easy to um, put the mandrel onto the X winder. So here we can see some examples. I'll have the full tutorial of making carbon fiber tubes online uh, very soon. Later on, I'll do a full review on the X winder as well, so the filament winder. And here we can see some other examples. You can also apply this on carbon um, cardboard tubes. So um, here you can see how the mounts are being made. So they are big, like a bit bigger than the ones on the aluminum mandrels but it works um, pretty good as well. So as you can see here, here's just an example of a winding. Uh, like I said, the full tutorial will follow. So for the next tutorial, I also needed to have a mount on the lathe because I'll be sending some parts on the lathe. Uh, so I have to make some adjust adjustments because it's quite difficult to find like the right tools um, and also it's cheaper and faster for me just to print them. So once again, filling everything with the polyurethane casting. So it makes 
uh, stronger parts without losing time on the 3D print. So here it's mounted. So this is the mount that I've made. This fits on the insides of the carbon fiber tubes that I've made previously. And so I can use the lathe to sand the parts. Like I said, everything will be in detail in a future video. So if you want to make sure to see that video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like on this video, comment what you want to see next, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.